Hi, in this short tutorial I will provide a detailed introduction to all the glare types. First, I need to adjust the setting in the render configuration. Let's activate GPU mode by going to render settings and then performance and setting the compositor to use GPU. This will make the composite speed super fast, a capability available in Blender 4.2. In the compositor, I want to add a pre-rendered image instead of creating a new render. Let's drag an image into the compositor. You can use real-time composition in the 3D view. I have a tutorial on this, which you can watch here. Make sure you use nodes and backdrop is on. By using the background, I can see the result. Let's connect the image to the viewer node to view the result. Next, press Shift and A and and add a glare node. Next, connect the image to the glare and connect the glare to the viewer. The default setting for the glare node is Strix, which creates a star-like glare effect. You can adjust the quality using this field. Next, I need to set the threshold. Lower values result in more intense and widespread glare, as you can observe. Increasing the iteration improves the quality a bit and color mix blends the glare with the image. Increasing the value results in a better blend. The mix enhances the glare by darkening the image. I don't need it. Strix determines the intensity. As you can see, the glare is quite strong here. You can adjust the rotation of the stars by using the angle field. The fade controls the opacity of the glare effect. Let's switch to a different glare type, Bloom. The threshold adjusts the power and spread of the glare, similar to how Strix works. You're already familiar with the mix. The size controls the scale of the glare effect. The ghost type produces a directional glare effect. The fields in this type are similar to those in the other glare types, with the threshold being the most important setting. Fog Glow is similar to Bloom, but it produces a more screen-like glare effect. What I mean is that all the points on the image now have a glare effect. The size adjusts the scale of the glare, and you are already familiar with the quality. Simple start type resembles streaks, but produces a larger, more pronounced star-like glare. Now let's adjust the threshold. Press N to open the sidebar, then go to the view section and increase the zoom value. You should now see some prominent star-like points. With the final result achieved, let's connect it to the composite node. The composite will provide the final result, which you can view in the rendering panel. Select the viewer node layer to see the final result. To save the image, go to Image and Save As. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give the like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions and ideas, feel free to share them in the comments.